Okay, next we're going to add mulch to our image editor project. Okay, over on the EasyScape toolbar here at the top, just underneath the EasyScape grass tool is the EasyScape mulch tool. When I click on that, I'm going to get a similar dialog box to what we had with the grass tool. Okay, uh, with mulch what we want to do here is we want to create a closed curve or contoured edge around the bed. Uh, and instead of the stretch, we want to use the tile uh, closed curve pattern. Okay, if I had straight edges around this bed, I, I could use the tile polygon tool. Okay, I'll click OK there. And here I have several different mulches to choose from. I'll go ahead and select the first one here, which is black mulch. Okay, you'll see my cursor changes to a little circular cursor. What I'm going to do here is I'll start right about here, and then I'm going to work my way out here and click, and then just click around the front here, and then over to this edge, and then kind of back around it a little bit there, and I'll make it appear that it's a little bit mounded there, and I'll right click. Okay, now with whenever we use the tiling uh, tool type like we did here, we have the option to change the scaling of that pattern. And the easiest way to do it is to use the up down keys on the uh, keyboard. You can also go over here to the workspace. The very first tab is the properties tab and you can grab the scale slider here and you can change the scaling of it like this. Or you can again press the up down keys on the keyboard and that will also change that scaling. Okay, so when you get it to the right size, just leave it right there. Now I can go ahead and put another piece of mulch here. So to do that, I go back to that EasyScape tool and select it there. And just come around here, like so. And when I'm done, I right click. Okay, now I can adjust these points if needed. Okay, you'll also notice that when I, I place this mulch in here, it knew to place the mulch over the grass material. Okay. All right. Now you'll also uh, experience this sometimes. You see how here it, it uh, cuts off that mulch pattern. Well what we can do is you'll see this little green square here in the middle. We can click on that and drag it over so that it, it moves or, or shifts that pattern uh, over to cover that full area there. So occasionally You'll, you'll cut that off, so just uh, realign that using that little green square. You can click on it and drag that over. And that's how we add mulch in Image Editor.